Welcome back everyone to another episode of Phil Tech Source. My name is Ferdi and today I found out that I had a drive license. Not an actual driving license, but a vehicle tracking drive license from Causeway. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know that Causeway has provided us with a license for CTS for only for video demonstration purposes, obviously. And part of that package deal was the drive license. And why not create an overview tutorial like how does the software work? Now, the reason I liked Drive, I've used it like only a few times, like just for the tutorial preparation and just on a, like a fake project just to see how it worked. And I loved it because it's very simple. Like I want to do a quick vehicle tracking. I do it dead easy. Now, AutoCAD has a similar software, but I think you need to purchase separate license, etc. It's expensive. I think I'm not sure about the prices. If you know, let me know because I don't have a clue about prices. I just ask people for free license. So back to AutoCAD. The vehicle tracking AutoCAD is great. I've used it before and it does uh, uh, videos, it does 3D animations, etc. Which is all good if you have free time. But let's be honest, we're civil engineers. We just want to check if the road that the architect gave us actually fits the vehicles that we're supposed to drive on that road. So we want a simple, straightforward software that will carry our vehicle tracking. And I believe Causeway's drive is the one. Now, Causeway is not giving me any money for this. So this is just a true, honest opinion of me as a civil engineer. Now, no more chit chat, let's begin. So if you open the drive, then the Causeway CAD will appear. Open the layout here, you wanna do the tracking and then there is a tab called drive. Now in the tab, you've got the define, settings, display styles, vehicle library, track, key, help and about, and the rest are for the license. Now, simple and straightforward, we're gonna start from the vehicle library and go work our way backwards. So in the vehicle library is self-explanatory. So you have all the libraries uh, of the vehicles that you need. You can create, add vehicle, remove, or even copy, so duplicate, so you can edit the same settings or adjust few settings, or you can even import. Now, what this is good about is that you can actually create for your company like a standard vehicle library that you use most often, and then you have it in the server and everyone can import it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the once you import it, it will remember it. If not, you can always use the import button or you can do a factory reset. So you've got the drop down uh, menu and you can select from a list of categories you have here. And if you click next, you can see it changes. So this is the general information. This is the body. You've got the rear axles, the front axles and steering. Now, in order to enable the apply button, you need to change something. So if we go appliance, even the space bar, if we hit it, it will enable the apply. So if you change something, you can even add a different group and hit apply. So that's the vehicle library. Display styles, self-explanatory. Again, you have the ability to import styles, add styles, duplicate and edit, or uh, uh, import styles. So I think I've tried the default one, which was really user-friendly to understand, and or you can do factory reset. Again, in order to allow us to apply it, we can just name it, let's say, CTS style, and let's change this tiny bit, envelope outline, let's make it orange, because CTS is orange, why not? Hit apply, and you can see CTS style is there. Now then we've got the settings, so these are the settings, the default settings, so let's do a fire appliance, and let's do CTS style and forward speed, let's say two, reverse speed 2.5, oh, doesn't matter, and transition steering user and hit OK. And then define, it will bring up the menu. And if there is something that you don't want from the default settings, you can again change it from there. Now let's move the menu towards there. And all you have to do now is left click, adjust the angle you want to drive and then start driving. Simple as that. So we're just gonna make a few turns. Ooh, this is not good. We're crashing over the curb, but we can fix this. So if we continue and just keep driving, let's say. So let's not hit many curbs. 
we keep driving and let's say we reach here you can see that you can see the right turn already like if it allows you or not and there we go and we stop it here and to stop it you just hit enter now as you can see where is was it we hit the curb here so all we have to do is just slightly tweak it oh we cannot we tweak it okay we push it slightly backwards there you go so you've got these vertices that allow you to move it even after you finish tracking so this is great and yeah that's pretty much it for example here what we will have to do is probably adjust it slightly get it out there you go and you can always change the display style so you have the property window and you can change the display style so tracks for example these are just for the wheels you select it and change the tracks to let's say default that's the default and i'm not sure if you can change the car oh you can change the car i did not know about that so see so if you've got actually you can change that as actually it's pretty cool so basically you can track once and then change different cars and maybe tweak one of them or just copy paste and turn off layers on and off because there are certain layers right we can change the layers and then duplicate it move it to a different layer freeze the previous one and then change your points and vice versa and continue so yeah and then you have the key the key basically is showing the fire appliance so you've got the vehicle name description and some properties and the help about button so if you double click on drive and then using drive you can see everything you need to know so track key methodology oh we need to show you the track so basically the track what it does is you just select it and then you can redo the whole motion so you can see how it drives so in my opinion it's straightforward simple and no much complexity needed for it so basically if i remember correctly the autocad tracking has the 3d visualization make videos etc which is all good but as a civil engineering consultant we just want to do vehicle tracking simply and just issue a plan say yeah it works or no it doesn't work move your curb or make the radius bigger and vice versa i don't know if vice versa is the right word for this occasion but yeah so i would suggest you try uh, trying using drive and thank you so if you like the tutorial hit the like button so we can beat the youtube algorithm and let's get this channel bigger and if you loved it share it with your colleagues and tell them to subscribe so they can be updated with uh, weekly content i create now the next tutorial i think that i might be creating is swells in flow so maybe that's the one that you want to look out for and i think i'm gonna do another one on civil 3d so yeah other than that stay safe and i'll see you next time